Three days of critical hearings began at the state capitol today. 131 people who hoped to have a crime pardoned made their case before the Board of Pardons. On Friday, 15 people spending life behind bars will look to have their sentences commuted. It's the second largest group of lifers looking to be released from prison in decades in the Commonwealth. Fox 43's Grace Griffithton has more on those hearings from Harrisburg. Some people ask why give somebody convicted of second degree murder a second chance this morning. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman gave us his input and why he believes some prisoners are worthy of redemption. You would be surprised uh, how many times there's this gross mismatch. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is talking about when somebody is charged with second degree felony murder and sentenced to life behind bars. For example, take Charles Haas. The lieutenant governor says the 70 year old man has served 40 years from his role in a deadly robbery in 1978. Fetterman says Haas's brother stabbed the victim and a female accomplice shot him. Yet he says Haas has spent the most time in prison by far. Is justice? Well, you know, you were sitting in a getaway car, had no idea what was happening. You should die in prison along with the person who pulled the trigger. I don't believe that we should. To have a life sentence commuted, there must be a unanimous vote in favor by the Pennsylvania Board of Pardons. Five people make up the board, including the lieutenant governor. We interview these inmates. We examine their prison records. We allow and encourage victims to testify. So we, we uh, it's, it's not just simply, uh, well, let's look through this file. It's, it's a very comprehensive, in-depth, deep dive. Fetterman says lifers must also have exemplary behavior in prison and substantial remorse for what they've done. Of the 15 making their case before the board, three are from our area, including 59-year-old Edward Printup with 38 years in prison and 61-year-old Jose Nieves with 42 years served. Some of them, um, the longest serving one that we've commuted is 52 years. And that is an astonishing figure for me personally, as, as somebody who turned 50 years old this past summer. Fetterman also points to the price of imprisoning elderly lifers. He says it can cost more than $70,000 a year to keep them in prison. People on the opposite side of the spectrum are like, well, what happens if one of them gets out and does something horribly it would be, wrong? It would, first and foremost, it would be uh, catastrophic and, and be personally devastating if if somebody hurt somebody. Uh, that, that, that There's always that possibility theoretically. Thousands of people are paroled, so the vast majority of inmates actually cycle through and they, they reemerge. So this idea that this is only unique to the commutations process is it's just simply not true. When it comes to pardons and commuting life sentences, ultimately the governor has the final say. Governor Tom Wolf has commuted the most life sentences since Governor Bob Casey left office in 95. In Harrisburg, Grace Griffithton, Fox 43 News.